Hi everyone, and today we're talking about the herbivore digestive system. So the purpose of the digestive system is to break down food and absorb the nutrients into the blood and then into the body cells. And this process begins with food entering the animal's mouth, either through chewing or swallowing as we have previously learned. Herbivores like buffalo and zebra consume the nutrient-poor grasses of the African savanna. And grasses contain an indigestible material called cellulose, which is contained in the plant cell walls. Small microbes such as bacteria help to break down the cellulose when it enters the digestive tract. And cellulose is also known as fiber. There are two herbivore digestive systems that differ in how they break down this cellulose. A buffalo is called a ruminant, which means that it continually chews, swallows, and regurgitates its cud or wad of food. This food or cud travels down to the largest part of its four-chambered stomach, which is called the rumen, and that's why these animals are called ruminants. A zebra is called a non-ruminant because they do not regurgitate their food. Instead, the grasses they eat pass through their digestive tract in one quick motion. Since they do not have a rumen, the cellulose in the grasses they eat gets broken down in another structure called the cecum. In the rumen, bacteria break down the cellulose as the rumen churns, which aids in the process of chemical digestion. Ruminants might spend six to eight hours per day chewing and regurgitating their food, which results in approximately 60 to 75 percent of the plant matter being broken down before it reaches the stomach. Zebras do not have a rumen and instead have a much smaller stomach, and so they must eat several times per day. So here is a quick breakdown of the different digestive structures in each animal. In the mouth, grasses are chewed using flat teeth which grind down the plant material. Chewed food is transported by the esophagus to the stomach. The stomach contains gastric juices which continue the process of chemical digestion. In the buffalo rumen, bacteria break down cellulose while certain enzymes break down proteins in the zebra stomach. Most nutrients are absorbed into the blood and then into the body cells in the small intestine while the majority of water from food is absorbed in the large intestine. Both buffalo and zebra possess a bacteria-rich pouch called the cecum. The cecum connects the small and large intestine and also contains bacteria which break down the plant matter. So you can pause the screen after this is all done and copy down the function of each digestive structure as a brief phrase. In summary, non-ruminants like zebra or animals like horses digest plant material faster but absorb less nutrients during each meal. To compensate, these animals must eat more meals per day. In comparison, ruminants such as buffalo or animals like cows are more efficient in breaking down plant material, but the food passes through their digestive system slower.